السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاكم الله خير رضوان الله family for tuning in to another episode of رضوان الله TV your source for Islamic personal and professional development um, I'm your host and li- dream life maximizer Hussein Muhammad working to help you maximize your dream life in this dunya and in the akhirah by the grace will and for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for verily all praise and thanks are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our creator owner and sustainer the one worthy of all worship and without any intermediaries or intercessors and may the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon the most esteemed leader and most honorable teacher, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his companions, and those who follow him until the day of judgment. Allahumma ameen. And I welcome you back to the Ramadan series, bi ta'ala. And this is the series that I hope to uh, inspire and motivate you to take full advantage of this blessed month of Ramadan by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, as we all know, we are roughly about halfway through uh, this blessed month of Ramadan. And I wanted to kind of share with you some of the tips that um, I've picked up from other people and then that I started using myself uh, to be able to, bidhanillahi ta'ala, take full advantage of this month of Ramadan. And the tip that I have for you today, bi'idhanillah, is one that is not only important for Ramadan, but is also important for you to live your dream life, your maximized dream life. But specifically in this Ramadan, what I want you to do is compete with yourself. Um, What I mean by that is whenever you have these goals and dreams of the things that you want to do in this blessed month of Ramadan, it is important for us to not compete with anybody else but ourselves. Now, if you're going to compete with somebody else and you're going to look at all the things that they're doing, that's fine. But don't act from their level. Act from your level. Um, this is a lesson that I've learned um, in a boys to men camp um, when I was, it was a, an elite basketball training camp um, that, uh, that I took a couple of years ago with some of my uh, friends. And the coach, whenever we were pushing extremely hard, I think we're working out about four or five hours a day and then studying for another hour or two. Um, And in that process, you know, you find a little bit of injuries in in, in, in the journey. And instead of trying to get back to the level that other people are at, the coach pulled me aside and he said, basically, take your time and, and, and better yourself from where you are without really looking into uh, what other people are doing. So taking, bringing it back to this blessed month of Ramadan, um, you, you, you either came into Ramadan stumbling or you came into Ramadan strutting your stuff. And uh, depending on which level you're at, um, halfway through, you could be, you know, the person who came in stumbling might be um, handling business and the person that came in handling business might be stumbling. Um, so, you know, depending on how much you're burning out, um, it's important to continue to do what you do, but get maximum amount of rest and control the amount of eating that you're doing. So, um, you know, when, when, when you are not even praying your basic farad prayer and you're not praying taraweeh and you're not reading your basic Quran, and that's like the basic level of taking advantage of Ramadan, then that's where you should start. Um, you know, there's people in the masjid who are, you know, finishing the Quran probably on a weekly basis um, that are cleaning the masjid, that are doing so many things. And um, you wish you could be at that level, but you're just not quite there yet. Look at where you want to be and look at where you are right now and then see if you can do one percent better today and then another percent better tomorrow and let that go into a stu- uh, um, uh uh, avalanche effect bi ta'ala so it's important for us to compete with ourselves and continuously do better every single day in this blessed month of Ramadan and for the rest of our life 
so we may be able to achieve the best in this life and in the hereafter. So as a summary and conclusion, make sure in this blessed month of Ramadan that you are competing with yourself and you continue to work hard in this blessed month of Ramadan and make sure that you take full advantage of it, bithinillahi ta'ala. Um, Jazakumullah khair for taking the time. And if you've liked this video, please subscribe to our channel um, and press the like button and share your comments on the link below. And I'll be looking forward to um, connecting with you, bithinillahi ta'ala. Um, and last but not least, uh, this is your co-host and life, dream life maximizer, Hussein Muhammad checking out by saying, never ever give up on maximizing your dream life in this dunya and in the akhirah by the grace, will, and for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.